Hi guys! Welcome back to no, the basic, basic chat. Basic chat. We need a theme song. That's what we need. You know how like Jackie Ina has that Jackie 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 that. Ooh, she got her little theme song. We need a theme song. Somebody come up with something. Thank you. Look, and then you're here with me be like Hoochie Heppa. Hoochie Heppa. Go. Where are my Hoochies at? Where are my Hoochies at? <laughs> Anyway, guys, oh, we, are, be fired. <laughs> we are back with another episode, and we're going to just talk about stuff that we haven't talked about in a while, and that is K pop. Yeah. We honestly just going to be chatting. K pop chatting. music. It's another basic chat approved K pop edition. Y'all know we did the BL yes. edition. Yes. So now we're doing K pop because a lot of K pop groups have had comebacks recently, mm-hmm. a lot of bops have been dropped recently. So, yeah, yeah we're just going to get into it. You know, and there's no particular uh structure to this no, there's podcast no order to we it. honestly just talking <laughs> this ain't there's no least to worst whatever yeah. in a ranking it's just we just talk about stuff we, we didn't so that if didn't we didn't say your soul. favorites first <laughs> yeah. look, if we didn't say your favorites first it ain't because we ain't like them least or whatever it's yeah. just it's just bad. that's how i came out my mouth period yeah. <laughs> It just happened to come on my last. That's all. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Sorry, not sorry. Lucci. No, he just I bit saw my whole him in the foot. back. <laughs> he looked like he was rolling on ass in the back. And then he just. <laughs> Chill, he just bit the hell out of my toe. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, guys, make sure you join the chats. I'm Carmel. And you know what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Call your congresswoman. She's not gonna answer. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, join the chat. So, K-pop. Wait, can we just like talk about how? What? There has just been so much mess going on in the K-pop like sphere, and ha- <laughs> like lately, like since Ooh. we talked about last, this whole like Charles. the whole Mijin thing, the whole like I Sun do not. thing. That whole new jeans and eyelid thing, I don't care. <laughs> 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 I really don't care. <laughs> like. Because at the end of the day, I got pops. So, um, Christ. <laughs> See, as long as the music is good, y'all can They're keep all that music. drama. And at this point, the concepts are in rotation with every group. Yeah. So, I don't care. Yeah. I really don't care. Her little, her little conference meeting was hilarious. My sister put on a good little show. <laughs> Period. <laughs> she had her lawyer scratched out. <laughs> My boy was in the back like, girl, what are you doing? He was like, girl, give me the mic, please. <laughs> Honestly, it's crazy because she made a whole cultural impact. Like, Got a lot of TikTok sounds out of it. Making TikTok sounds. People are dressing up like her for like, Chill. I guarantee there's going to be somebody dressed up for her, like for her. Oh my God, I can't talk. Dressed up like breathe her. Breathe in, breathe out. For Halloween. <laughs> I was just about... One brain cell because I was gonna be like she gonna be a Halloween costume. I next. did ask. I was I was mixing the four and the light. Mm. I was about to be like dressing up for her like Halloween. <laughs> sorry y'all. I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry y'all. But <laughs> the cultural like impact that. that she had, you know, child. And then there was the uh, whole thing amazed. with. Um, Sunshine, or not Sunshine, Sun Han. You know, so. I don't know about that either. I'm so from, removed. From Rise, <laughs> Sun Han from Rise, going on high. Oh, that, okay, Kim. Yeah. I'm thinking that something like is uh, the other Sun Han. <laughs> Sun, is that his name in Hypen? There's Sun Han no, from in Hypen. Ignore me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I thought his name was Sung Han too. I'm crying. Ignore me. <laughs> she said there's a lot of Sungs over here. Like, like, but it's like. <sighs> it, it I'll never me, forgive y'all over that Sung Han shit. <laughs> like, it made, me so it made me not want to support uh, Rise at all because it's like. Yeah, I didn't want to listen to it. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> 
if if we continue to su- if we continue to support Rise, it's kind of like biting us in the foot. I mean, I get it. Like all the other members, they have nothing to do with it. But it's yeah. it's like unfortunately, and I will die on this hill. People have to. There has to be suffrage has to happen just... in order for like things to get better. And it's sad that they got caught up in that whole thing. And it's like the fans I are just... like boycotting because, but. The fans are weird as hell to me because I'm like, y'all got K-pop idols currently that have done way worse. And y'all are like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. My boy had a boy, uh, not a boyfriend, my boy had a girlfriend. I mean, I don't know your life. I don't know your life. But he, all, he had be, all he had was a girlfriend. He smoked a cigarette. Like half of y'all probably be chain smoking every day. <laughs> not <chain laughs> but you want to tell him not to. But you want to tell him not to. <laughs> and then y'all want to like be outside the company with trucks. And I'm like, half of y'all are like literally grown as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> doing this. Part and I'm like, though, okay. Part of me though really be thinking that this was like a publicity stunt. Kind of like the Gotham thing. Because yeah. it's like it's like investors got involved in this shit. Like, how investors gonna get involved in this kid's dating li- like like and it's you crazy know what? that this like this type of thing doesn't yeah. happen on this scale to people that bully or people that say racist comments or people that you oh know. my god. <laughs> Let it be a racist comment. The people who it don't even affect be like, oh it's okay, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> love you. We still love you. It's fine. Like, excuse me? It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> but okay, whatever. Like, it's okay. It's so weird. <laughs> I have a theory about that though. Like, what if he just didn't want to be an idol anymore? It was like, listen, this is what we can do. <laughs> The only way that it I was thinking, my thought process with that, it was like, like on some, what is it? Some like narcissistic what? shit. Like he like went up to the yeah. city and was like, look, I'm eating the girlies up too much. I gotta get the fuck out. I gotta get <laughs> out. I'm sorry. I did not know my power. <laughs> I'm, oh, okay. I'm so, Baby had power, honey. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Because uh, Talk Sexy. Y'all really? Talk Sexy. I'm sorry. When he popped up on the ground, I'm like, eh. I'm that man, was my but bias. I got How pregnant. dare y'all? That was my bias. How dare y'all? Damn. How dare y'all? And now he got, bro, my, that picture I saw of him happy as fuck. He probably did want to be an idol. Because, like, they, they had a recent picture of him, um, was he like out at a park or something? No, he was going to cram. But they say he was going to cram school for like the um, to retake his like entrance exam or something like that. Yeah. But I was like, oh. he was he was outside just <laughs> like hey, <laughs> normal just life cheesing. here. And I'm like, I said my boy said that idol shit is not for me. <laughs> so, but we like because we really Allegedly, don't know. We're just kidding. SM hasn't said anything. I don't think they're gonna say yeah. anything anytime soon. No, they're probably never gonna say anything. They're just like they'll forget. It is what it is. <laughs> they'll forget. <laughs> but looking at the we're comments, just being funny, y'all. <laughs> and looking at the comments of uh, one of their recent TikToks, they everybody's mm. like Rise is seven. So or yeah. Wait, how many of them is it? But how many of them was it before? Was it? It was seven before. Rise is six now, I think. Wait, there's Sung Chan, So He, and Talk. Don't ask me. Wan Bin. <laughs> uh. Jay got a K-pop profile. <laughs> what? Count everybody that count everybody that's there right now, and then add Sung Chan. <laughs> Sotaro. <laughs> And then, oh, and then what's his name? The American, or I don't even know if he's American. I think, no, yeah, he's American. What's his name? Who? Um, Rise. What's his name? Why do I, he has the easiest name for me to remember. 
Because the low-key sound. Like, um... Oh, I see. Of course his name won't be in the preview text. Crying. Anton. Antoine. I forgot. Okay, there we go. So, Rise was six. It's Rise is six now, but, like... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, seven. Seven? So, Rise was eight. No, they're six. I can't count. Anyways, <laughs> they're six. There's six of them right now. But there were seven when Sun okay. Hot was there. Anyways, but like, so people are in the comments of Rise of Seven, so they haven't really forgotten about it. But I don't know. I don't know how this is all, this whole thing is going to pan out. I just know that when SM finally releases a statement, pro- it's probably going to be like on some bullshit, you know? So. Probably, most likely. Like, most likely. But, but whatever. Anyways. <laughs> but, out of that, like Alyssa said, we've been getting bibbity bobbity boos. Okay? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Eyelids released the earworm of the century with Magnetic, obviously. That's my shit. Like. <laughs> this time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is it? <laughs> like that's my song. And there was a lot of like discourse around that too because of the whole like live singing thing. And it's like <laughs> I feel like people aren't gonna like our opinions on this. But Lucy. Oh, Lucy said, hey. <laughs> Brother man, brother man. <laughs> brother. 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 <laughs> like, chill, brother. Let me try, let me trade you. Can I trade you here? Okay. <laughs> you came out of nowhere. He was just like. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he on one right now. What are you doing? <laughs> He don't seem okay. He seemed like he got the zoomies or something. Look. Yeah, he's just the baby. He's just the baby. But um He's just the baby. Yeah, we got the Ornament of the Century, and then there's a whole yeah. thing about like live singing and stuff. Well, I think with us it's kind of like a split. It's like Yeah. I like people have the opinion that like when you're an idol, you don't have to be the best at like this and this and this. And I'm like, you know, it's kind of I feel like because people let just I don't want to say talent list because the girls have talent mm-hmm. but yes. I think it's kind of crazy how like people are accepting like watered down talent now you know yeah y'all really are accepting bare minimum <laughs> yeah because it's like it's like obviously they have like you know, charisma, and they mm-hmm. they can execute the choreo, period. But yeah, I think there is, and I don't necessarily blame them for it. I blame the companies, because companies are trying to chase a buck, so they're just like, putting out Bucking idols them for things. like, yeah. undercooked. Like, <laughs> like, they have baits. <laughs> and I'm like... You didn't uh, do the full rotation. Didn't do, like... <laughs> vocals and stuff could be so much better so much more stable so much because and this is the thing this is the thing obviously it's not always about the west it's not always about the west but a lot of these yeah. companies are trying to market the bands to the west right yeah and over here if you got the backtrack only on the west gonna clock you you ain't gonna make it over here without that. Look, Coachella. <laughs> You're not gonna make it over here with that. I'm sorry. It's just a different standard over here. Coachella. <laughs> but if if your backtrack is 100 mm. percent and we don't hear you mm. not one bit, it's because I just gonna my thing you. is obviously y'all. They are talented. They can sing. Obviously, because yeah. you got you made it this far. Like obviously, you can sing. My thing is balancing off of like what you say about them chasing a buck. Mm -hmm. I feel like they are getting booked for way too many things back to back to back. And there isn't enough 
proper training mm-hmm. for certain scenarios. Yeah. Like, I mean, we might as well talk about the Coachella situation, right? First of all, it was Wendy. Mm-hmm. It's Wendy. Coachella, the, it, everything's live. Like, you always hear live things. And I personally don't think they had maybe enough time to prepare for that type of stage, mm-hmm. that type of weather. Because, mm-hmm. like, they always have, it's always windy on Coachella because it's hot. You're in the desert. So, mm-hmm. like, they're always going to have, so I feel like it was a lot of, I don't, because I know, I know Lace here from can sing. Like, <laughs> they can sing. Yeah. I just feel like that performance was not a good reflection of, of what like, we know they, they can, can do. do. Yeah. And it's, it's it's just the training that they have. Mm-hmm. It's like I feel like they don't put a lot of um emphasis on live performances, which if you're trying yeah. to be a global superstar, you got to you're, you're going to have to perform a lot. You're probably going to perform a lot more than you are in the studio. Like live. Oh, yeah. Like there's like Oh yeah. That's just the case, but <laughs> I think one company that's really good at making sure their idols can sing. (laughs) YG. I was was saying YG because right now, Baby Monster, the mics be on. YG is like, "Ah." no backtrack. (laughs) YG, they can sing, but I feel like this live thing just started happening because uh, they were like, y'all ain't gonna catch us. They're like, y'all ain't gonna catch us. I know why it happened, but I'm saying, like, now YG is like, we're going to show you. So you ain't got nothing to say about us. (laughs) Our girlies can sing. (laughs) But, I mean, we all knew that from, like, the training video or whatever. Yeah, the, like, Uh, training video. They can all blow. But um, I think the two, like, companies that are hyper-focused on, like, live performance and being able to actually, like, do it live or SM and JYP like SM obviously we know like because SM really only have the time breed vocalists like everybody know how to hit a high C for some reason but um and then JYP like does those live like their um what is it called vocal dance practices or whatever but it had them sing while they're dancing um for the dance practice things and so we know mm. JYP artists can sing but it's like, it's like, I feel... I really think y'all should let it go. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> to be like, <laughs> I feel like it's, uh, it's more reflective upon the companies and how they, like, produce their artists rather than the artists themselves. So I don't, I don't agree with people attacking the artists because we know how the K-pop industry is. I just think like, it's beating a dead horse because... One, we're not singers. We're not idols. Yeah. So, like, I like to see us get up there and do a whole eight count no and try to sing at the same time. So, yeah, let it go. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. But, I feel like there's all. I feel like there's always gonna be some backtrack somewhere. No, somewhere. yeah, definitely, definitely. And I feel like it's just gonna keep. It's gonna be a never ending cycle. Anytime a new artist mm. comes out, everybody's gonna be like, "Live singing? Are you live singing? Like, sure. where's the back vocal? Like, look, live singing. Like, and I'm like, y'all, just like, let it go. <laughs> I feel like if we just let that stuff go, sometimes it, like the standard goes down, and that's why we are where we are now. But I guess, um, as far as like songs, let's kind of shift the focus. But as far as the songs that have really been like catching you other than magnetic because we already talked about it what other like songs she woke up per x she woke up period yeah oh that one that one they came out the gate with like xg will they they never miss like they never miss honestly it needs to be a case study and we can argue we can argue argue it can be a case study because (laughs) it's like this song if you really listen to the lyrics this song is like Telling everybody that be like XG is overrated, like y'all, we ain't new to this. We true to this, okay? We know. And then like, like we're gonna when they dropped X Gene, X Gene was like a minute song. <laughs> right, <laughs> shit, hit like, like there it is. It's 
there's some people will say like, oh, people just like XG because they are like hip hop, rap, R and B, and it's like that's no. part of it. But even if they were like like QT like twice type of Child. stuff. It's their songs just hit. Their songs <laughs> hit, and it's just something different about their charisma. And they aren't. I think for me, it's like that. You know that whole idol image. You're like, obviously, I'm not putting them in the K-pop like atmosphere, even though they promote in Korea. I'm like, I don't think they're K-pop, but um, it's just what they like. Their whole idol image is very much like relatable, and it's like they it's like they don't project that like have to be perfect all the time type of energy if you get what I'm saying like even with the behind the scenes stuff it's like they're relatable to me like even in their songs I'm like what black people y'all got in y'all's camp because I know y'all employing them yeah I like they're they're just their swag is different no, yeah, for me it's they could be all singing. They could be, I don't know. It's just something about them that I just enjoy. What's crazy, because that's, what's crazy about that is like, low-key, they are all all-rounders. Because we've seen them all do everything. Yeah, they can all sing, can all rap, can all dance. Like, right. they're, they were, they're performers. They were meant to perform, yeah. so. Yeah. It's like that, I think for me, one of the songs that got me that I didn't think was going to get me was Plot Twist by TWS. Because I I do not like super, oh, super cutesy like songs. So they're like one of the new... Um, I don't think they're, they're specifically under big hit music. It's something else. Some other like subsidiary. TWS. But you should listen to it because it's really, really catchy. Like, if you ever get a chance. It's like, um... Espa also. Oh, they're Espa, the new Pledis group. Supernova. Who? They're the new Pledis group. They're 17's oh, um, okay. baby brother group. But what oh, were you saying? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I was saying Espa is another one that has oh, been yeah. dropping bops like Supernova and Armageddon. Yes. Please. Like, lately, like, after, I don't know, drama kind of, like, put them in this kind of... Please. They have been... E.T. E.T. Like, Supernova was very I'm much sorry, different. They really... <laughs> like, they really eating y'all famous. <laughs> Supernova <laughs> was very much different, but I don't know. It just hits for some reason. And then when they came out with Armageddon, I was like... <sighs> Child. Supernova was like my EDM mm-hmm. bop. Like, the one that I feel like I could be like... You know, at a festival and just like rage out. Mm-hmm. That was like supernova to me. And then Armageddon was like my bad bitch. Like, like <laughs> my God. It's, and it's the choreography. It's the, have you watched the video yet? Have you gonna watch it? No, I still need to watch oh the music video. God. I know I'm a fake fan. It makes it fan. so much like to like you can listen to Armageddon and already be like, oh my God, this is a bop. But when you watch I'm the music video, fan. these oh. looks, this energy. I need to watch it. The Espa, I can't really. Has Espa? No way. I was about to say has. I don't think Espa has ever missed. But they did have one flop to me. What? I think it was girls. Girls. Wait, that I'm one girl, I didn't really girl, like. Girl, girl, girl. That one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That one I didn't really like. But I liked um the other one they had dropped at that time. Oh, illusion. Yeah, illusion. I like Can that one. Illusion. Easy crazy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> That's I, don't know. I don't know if they had a flop for me I think there's like mm-hmm. a couple of songs that I didn't particularly like Girls is one of those like I don't hate it well, let me not call it a flop it's not a flop I just didn't like yeah, it yeah I, I don't <laughs> hate it but I don't mm-hmm. particularly go for that song like I'm not gonna go yeah. like let me look for girls to listen to if it yeah, pops, like up, it it pops up I might skip it, <laughs> it I might listen to it. it I don't know but, but I think don't fight me <laughs> It's weird because I also have that like mentality with next level though. Even though I love next level. I I'm love next level. next level. But I think there's a little bit too many like changes in the like tempo for it. And yeah, I mean, like, next level was like I'm like, this is next level. When I said Mavis calling. Novice calling. 
Wicked said, hey, 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 hey. She said, I don't know. Mm, 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 mm. We uh, want no, it. Back then, back then, Winter was good for stepping up to the side and doing her pose. No, when she hit her nose. Yuju. That was her. She, Y'all can coin shit. that pose from Yuji for J Friend. Yuji said, and all the girlies was like, period. Winter with every time from from Mamba all the way up until I think next level, you would see Winter step out in. She said, hit that high note. She said, yeah, yeah. I was like, yes, girl. That's my queen. I love her. She said a word. Preach to the choir. What's another? What's another song that has just been? That has been circulating um, on circulation. You know what? This one in is... my brain. <laughs> <laughs> this one is kind of like back, but um, what? what's that song by uh, the new six from? Oh, what's it? To the, oh, it's the one. Finally, finally, I feel like I can't be me. Hey. <laughs> that song. Kick it. That's it. Let's kick it for yeah. now. Kick it for now. <laughs> what was it? It's the new six, but they're the new. It's the new six. That is my song. But there's another name they go by. I can't. It's size group. The new six. And they need to come out with another Tenex. song. Tenex. Tenex. Come they out did. with another song. They just song. need to come back with Fuego. Oh. Like, not oh, I didn't listen to it. Yeah. I didn't listen to it because that is my shit. I love that damn song. But <laughs> that song, and it, it just, it really hit in the black community because that song Ooh. sounds like every other, it's kind, it had the same energy for me that New Jeans yeah. Attention had. Yes. It like hit that nostalgia <laughs> from like the music that we used to listen to when beat. we were kids. Like 90s that, babies, you know. You know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that song, uh, oh, that, that's a good song. It's like I put that song on repeat. Like that song for me was on repeat, just like Cinema from yeah. CIX was on repeat. Y'all don't understand Cinema and Jordy. <laughs> That freaking song, it was to the point where I knew the song and I never played it, okay? No, we were on FaceTime. I played it at least twice a day for a good year and a half to two years. I knew that whole song and I never played it once. Uh, oh my God. That was that song came out way before I like moved to um to yeah. the West to Coast. Cali. Yeah, I moved to Cali. Um and I played it. I played it literally from when it came out to like maybe a year or two years <laughs> after I like moved to Cali. Like that song, it is still, it's still like it still comes it's up on my about, like rotation almost every day. But you and cinema is like me and Monster from um Oh EXO. Freaking yes. Love that damn song. Like, <laughs> I can hear that song over and over and uh, it could have just EXO is my cut off and I'll hear it again. But that but that's crazy because EXO is my alt group. But mm. I don't think I've ever played one of their songs as much as I've played cinema. Like That's okay. Like over it's the okay. years I've been standing XO. I don't think I've played any of their songs. The amount of times in a short period of time that I've played cinema. Have I? It's okay. <laughs> oh, wait. One more before my camera cuts off. I do have an honorable mention. <laughs> Posse, macaroni and cheese. Mac you can't make me hate cheese, that song. Mac 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 cheese, you can't make me mac hate that song. Cheese, I love mac that mac song. <laughs> She'd be like, <laughs> when they did this movie, they were like, <laughs> Period. Y'all can't make me hate Period. that song. <laughs> um, but we're gonna take like a quick break. Honestly, I don't even know if we should take a break because like. Mm. Uh, Do you we... have any other songs? Do you have another other yeah. version? The only one other. I mean, we it doesn't need a jam break. It can just cut off and we can come back. That's true. <laughs> and That's true. <laughs> so be back. Be back. <laughs> but, um, we're back after a one second break. <laughs> Um, I can't remember what I was going to say, though. There was another song uh, was... that I was going to mention. It definitely was from a boy group. Can't remember what it was. I think it's recent, but dang. I'm trying to think who else. Did we come back for no reason? I don't know. 
<laughs> that that T N X song is stuck in my head. No, um, Dennis. Why is it there? There's a one more because I had a list in my head, and I was like, there's one more song that I wanted to mention that it's has like, been on repeat. Oh, Chunga's Any Mini. I don't know how I forgot my queen. Oh my god, Any Mini, and I'm that ready. Shit. Yeah, her whole because what is is that considered an EP or like a mini album? It's a EP. EP. Because she released yeah, that, that EP and, was um, everything, and I'm ready, and that was it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That thing that those two songs have have been on repeat. Honestly, I was going to say so, I knew there was somebody else. <laughs> I'm so proud of her because like, uh, that's what uh, my girl did also that. never missed missed she don't miss. Mm-mm. Um, she never you misses. Know, that's that's Whoa. Cool. okay. If y'all haven't seen, <sighs> or you've been under a rock, or you're purposely <laughs> being oblivious <laughs> to anything that's going on in music, what? um, Mr. <sighs> <laughs> You not gonna tell. <laughs> yeah, how he gonna say we under a rock? He can't even tell. Us. <laughs> I had a brain fart. Oh my god. Anyways, um, psychic fever. Uh, oh yeah. Just like that yes. in temperature. Child. In love fire. In love fire. Oh, I. Okay. That's another one that don't miss. <laughs> I've been an Exile Tribe fan, specifically Ballistic Boys. Ballistic Boys are my shit. Like they're, I love them. I didn't know yeah. about Psychic Fever, and so when they popped up, I was like, I was like, why does this like band keep popping up? And they pop up in Thailand a lot because Exile Tribe does a lot with like Thailand, especially mm-hmm. because they've um, partnered with High Cloud, which is F Heroes like company. So there's like woo, 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 there's woo. real good promotion for the Japanese bands <laughs> in Thailand, okay? Maybe at Song Crime, turn it up. Okay. I love me some F Hero. And look, with his deepest voice. But yes. um like I didn't know really who Psychic Fever was. And when they came out with just like that, I was like, who are these boys? Who are these boys? I was like, I know it's gonna be What's good that? because it's Exile Tribe, but also like how good though? How good? Like, is it yeah. animal ballistic boys good? Like, that's the question. But um, as soon as I turn that on, and what's his name? DJ uh, <laughs> Lucci is bugging. Oh no! If bugging. You, I really, I really wish y'all could see how Cat is taunting him at this door. <laughs> they are literally playing with each other right now. It is so funny. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> but. I was like, is it going to be Ballistic Boys Animal Good? Right. Mm-hmm. What's his name? When DJ, <laughs> DJ, whatever his name is, came up on there and was like, I was like, hold up. I said, sir, who is you? <laughs> who are you? And then when Rain came out doing a little two step, I was like, I was like, Bruh. I was like, wait. Bruh. Bruh. They don't miss. They don't miss. I was like, fight about it. We can argue. <laughs> like, we can argue. And I already miss. knew. There's, if you don't know who Exile Tribe is, they are, it's like, think of. Think of a permanent produce 101 where all the members <laughs> stay. It's like yes. they're that big, but they're sectioned into like uh like groups and like factions like and stuff like that. None of the bands disband ever. Like, Every group that's produced stays together. Like they're like they're all under Exile Tribe of Umbrella. And Exile Tribe is like not just music. It's like mm. the high and low movies are Exile Tribe. Oh, those movies are good. Like <laughs> the people in the high and low movies, they're probably also in a band. Like mm-hmm. it, it, it's like they do everything themselves. It's like think of what is it? AK AK forty eight or whatever the girl AK-48? version of that in Japan. Oh yeah, with yeah, yeah, like yeah, all yeah. of them, you know, AKB mm-hmm. or something like that. Anyways, but it's like that. <clears throat> It's a lot, a lot of men's, but 
Their okay. <laughs> Exile Tribe is known for like employing the brothers. Okay. Like obviously, um, they're like, you know, half black, half Japanese people. Like Jimmy from uh from uh Psychic Fever is like half I forgot what country. I don't I forgot what like ethnicity, but um he's half black, half Japanese. But um yeah. when I saw him I was like I was like, and they got the brothers front and center. <laughs> front and center. No, TikTok put me on. When he was like, I'm your shit, I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm like, oh. yes. But anyways, Ciao. they have just been. Ugh. And my bias is Kokoro, my little shouty, my little shouty boot. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Look, Kokoro, I just want to put him in my pocket, take him wherever I go. Like, I'm weak. He's so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, they're. Yeah, love fire. Yeah. Um, just like that. And temperature have just been really in my bloodstream. As it should I, say, I don't think I don't think there's any other songs that I wanted to mention. Is there any more that you wanted to? There is TXT's um Deja Vu. That song oh, has been in my boot for song. the last <laughs> like week and a half. How did I forget that song? Yeah, yeah that, that one's a good one. Yeah. I'm like so looking cool, at yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've been, I'm like looking at all of the um the comebacks. I forgot Tori Kelly did a um co- a song featuring Shaywan from Le Seraphim. Ouch. Called Spruce. Called Sprucey Woosey. Sprucey. Is there any other ones that I really like? I don't think there's any other ones. That were yeah. that have really just been in my bussy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh Rise is Impossible. That song has been. Uh, yeah. Honorable mention. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all still low key oh, hater. That's the song that I what? need to mention. What? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm going down a list. Baggy Jeans by NCT. <laughs> Child. Oh yeah, that was a good one. I thought I was gonna hate that song. I thought I was gonna hate it, but no, I, don't know. I did. It, I tried because I was like, "Excuse me." But I tried to be a hater. Then I listened to it. I listened to it, and I was like, "Damn, was it like, snaps." Damn, back, 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 and back, 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 now I was saying it sucks. Wait, you know? <laughs> Why was that so aggressive? <laughs> <laughs> Why was it mid sentence? <laughs> Whoa there. <laughs> Whoa there. Whoa there. <laughs> but anyways, guys, yeah. We we're just talking K pop. We we're just babbling off today. So we hope you enjoy. Um Yeah. <laughs> what else? Let Follow us know us. what your songs of the the <laughs> great <laughs> what your songs of the I guess whatever of the century. are in heavy rotation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not the century that's that's Bless. a little exaggerated but yeah like let us know what y'all listening to and stuff in the comments follow us on all platforms Yo. y'all already know and links in the description mm-hmm. um description yeah description. we're probably i'm gonna say it now because we're already thinking about it. we're probably going to be um taking like a little break because we've been <laughs> pumping out content but we'll still be pumping out content because we're trying to like film yeah. ahead just to be transparent with y'all, we're trying to film ahead so that we can upload every week still. But they just might be yes. like little, 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 little short videos. Little diddly there. bops. Little diddly know? bops. Little diddly bops. Because we want to take a break so we can little plan. Little Easter eggs. You know, <laughs> plan more content. You yeah. Know? Um, Different stuff. Uh, but yeah, guys. Bam. That's it. Get out. Who should help us? Love oh my you. god, we traded places. Traded. Mm-hmm. Alright. No problem. Get out. Bye. In the chat. Bye. Ready. The pirate. The pirate. The pirate. No. Oh. <laughs>